for starters, we have this intro, uh, and this is also like the pre-chorus riff that happens. Pretty recognizable part of the song. It's just three chords. We're going to do an E, G, to A. Okay, and then we just kind of cut that A, and there's a little break that happens right there. Once the verse gets going, uh, the guitar basically is just kind of riding along on, on this open E kind of palm muted thing. We're just doing some eighth notes, you know, just. Okay, no big deal. Um, if you want to make them power chords just to get a little heavier with it, that's cool. Up to you. So uh, just the first part of the verse, just carrying out those eighth note open E's. Once we get to the second part of the verse, there's kind of a like a, a organ sounding thing. It could be another guitar with some tremolo on it. I'm not sure, but um, if you want to play these chords, there's also the first guitar that just keeps going with that that E note, uh, eighth note style. But these chords come over the top of it, all right. And this is like you know like the time has come section where we get these little sprinkled chords on top of it, and they're kind of like higher voicings. Uh, it'll be an E chord. So we just kind of worry about like the D, G, B, and E string of it. And it just kind of hits it once, hits it again, cuts. Okay, just like that. Then I'll move to a D chord. You can just play that as normal. Same, same style, same timing. All right, to an A. Back to the E. And it would repeat uh, the whole thing again. Um, in the first first verse, this happens. Uh, it'll repeat the E, D, A again, but instead of that final E, it does this big uh, F sharp chord. And this is, you know, guitar comes in with this right here. All right, just hits this big uh, F sharp bar chord. All right, so this is a let's give it back section. All right, and it just holds that for a moment. Um, I think in the second verse or last verse, like there's just nothing right there. It's just a rest. So just heads up for that. chorus section. Um, it's kind of two parts to this chorus we'll get into. Uh, first section, just basically strumming some chords. Just kind of does a single strum and lets it ring. Uh, start with an E minor chord. Okay, to a C. To G. Right, then this little like synth riff comes in and it's just kind of hitting a couple of funky notes here. Uh, Hits the G bass note on the three of the E here. Open A. And then back to the three of the E. All right, and then we'll just slide it back down to our following open E minor. C again. And now we do a D. And with this D, uh, if you want to try to get this following synth bit in with that, uh, play this voicing here with the 5 on the A, 7s on the D, G, B. Because then we're going to hit that 7 on the G for this following synth thing that happens. Slide it down to 2 G. All right, and then a, fu a real funky thing that happens here only happens here at the at the at this point of the first chorus. doesn't happen in any other chorus or any other parts. It's weird where it just... Uh, this first time around, they're going to add a D augmented, at, you know, right after we hit that little synth riff. So basically, just kind of like we're going to do a normal D, but just add, make that open D a one. It's kind of a weird little transitional thing that happens there.
Okay, and then we repeat all the way through it again, but the second time through, don't do that deaugmented at the end. And you can just leave that out the first time if you want. It only happens right there for some bizarre reason. Second part of the chorus, similar chords going on here. Um, there's just a bit of a arpeggiation thing that happens with it. Um, the first three chords, it's the same one. Uh, it'll be E minor. And then we do this open G, open B to first on the B. All right, then we move to a C chord. Pick the same thing, open G, open B, one B to G and then we just pick that same scale again All right, and then when we finish with the D chord we'll pick a little something different right, we'll hit the chord and then we do an open G 2G 3B then we pick through it a little bit more we do an open D open G to 2G and then an open B just a couple little small things that happen uh, in the second verse um, at this you know, certain point the guitar kind of breaks from just doing the the open E chugs there and it just at the end of where he says pay our share you just get this little chime in from the guitar where it hits like an open B and E a couple times just does like a little thing if you want to add that and at the very end, the outro, the little trumpet outro, uh, there's this big slide up and slide down that happens. And that's on the G, and we just go 7 up to 14, give it a little vibrato, and then just slide it back down to 7. Okay, for the most part, uh, the bass is just kind of hitting some root notes in this song, but in the verses uh, is where it really shines, kind of my favorite part of the song. Uh, we get this cool little bass line going. Um, based around E here, or we'll just be doing a couple of open E's, and then we go one, two on the A, and then we repeat that twice. Okay, a couple of open E's, we go three to four on the E. All right, now we finish with a couple of open E's, three, two on the E. All right, and this just repeats throughout the, uh, the verse section. <laughs> 